The case is sent to the dental lab after impression taking for the creation of the crown. The impression has been taken with an open tray using a screw retained impression post. A new single use analog will be used to ensure maximum precision of the final result. The magenta color code for regular crossfit connection is visible on the analog as well as on the screw of the impression post. Reposition and fix the analog in the impression using the guide screw. The analog must be positioned exactly in line with the grooves of the impression post before screwing it in. When tightening the screw, grasp the retentive section of the analog securely to prevent the impression post from rotating. The master cast is fabricated using high quality type 4 dental stone. A gingiva mask should always be used to ensure that the emergence profile of the crown is optimally contoured. Full arch opposing dentition and the use of an articulator are standard procedure. Using a full anatomic wax up and the respective silicone keys, abutment selection with the CrossFit plan set is facilitated. The selected plan abutment is secured with the SCS screwdriver. Plan abutments can also be used intraorally for chair side abutment selection. Clean the abutments thoroughly with water or ethanol in case of intraoral use and moist heat sterilize them subsequently. Two rings on the plan abutment indicate a gingiva height of 2 mm. The margin of the chosen abutments is too far below the soft tissue level. The silicone key indicates that a straight abutment can be used. The second plan abutment selected has three rings indicating a gingiva height of 3.5 millimeters. Using the allocation chart on the plan set inlay card, the corresponding stock abutment is ordered. The silicone keys of the final restoration help to check the dimensions for the reconstruction. Anatomic abutments are delivered with the correspondent color-coded basal screw and have anti-rotational grooves. The abutment is picked up with the SCS screwdriver and hand tightened on the master cast. Gingival margin, length and bulky areas are marked on the abutment with a permanent marker. It is recommended to always work on the polishing aid to protect the conical design of the connection. The anatomic abutment is modified to a reduced crown design, leaving enough space for a metal ceramic crown. To ensure enough friction fit for the future cemented crown, maintain a minimum height of 3 mm above the mucosa margin of the abutment. The margin of the future crown should be about 2 mm below the gingival margin. Finally, the surface is smoothed with a rubber wheel. 
an additional try-in of the framework in the mouth of the patient may be required. The screw access hole is closed with wax or silicone. With the brush technique, a thin resin cap is produced. If no spacer is used, the gap for the cement has to be maintained by controlling the expansion of the investing material. The burnout resin is covered with a minimal layer of wax. The wax structure is prepared in the conventional way for investing. When processing the investment material, follow the manufacturer's instructions. The framework can be cast in a conventional alloy. The cast crown must be allowed to cool down long enough before divestment. It is sandblasted with a maximum pressure of two bars, ideally using a maximum alumina particle size of 50 microns of glass pearls of the same size. In the conventional way, the metal framework is prepared for ceramic veneering. A thin metal border can be left. The well-designed framework allows the application of ceramics in regular thickness as it is recommended for ceramic veneering. This helps to prevent the ceramics from chipping. Contact points, form and design are checked a last time. The final restoration is delivered to the doctor's office on the Mastercast. Stable soft tissue is the result of careful contouring and conditioning with the provisional crown. A nice natural emergence profile from implant level through the soft tissue could be achieved.
After the rinsing with chlorhexidine, the abutment is correctly positioned until it's aligned with the implant grooves of the self-guiding crossfit connection. For improved cementation, the surface is sandblasted. The margin is at least 1.5 to 2 millimeters submucosal. Before final insertion, the crown is tried in for aesthetics and function. After hand tightening the abutment, the final torque of 35 Newton centimeter is applied with the torque control device. The screw access channel is protected with a cotton pellet and some provisional light curing composite or white gutta perca. This allows a later removal of the abutment in case of a crown replacement. The crown is cemented to the abutment. Depending on the situation and personal preference, temporary or final cement can be used. As the margins are located 1.5 to 2 mm submucosally, removal of excessive cement is easy. A final rinse helps to remove remaining cement parts. Adequate contact points and the correct occlusion ensure good function. The final view shows a convincing aesthetic result. For further information about the Strawman dental implant system and the Strawman bone level implant line, please contact your local Strawman representative.